Coach Ricardo Manetti will lead Namibia to their second competitive match when the team steps out to the pitch at the Nkoloma Stadium in Lusaka for the Group A opener against Mauritius. Seychelles completes the group which features three teams after Equatorial Guinea pulled out of the Kosafa Championships last month. Namibia are tipped to qualify to the quarterfinals from the group. You no, know, you can only be called favourites uh, after your first game or your second game because this is a professional level and we need to be consistent. So once we have that consistency in our approach, then I think we can, we can get the tag of being favourites. I think the Kosafa will help us, particularly for Mauritius, to have some important matches so that the players acquire much experience of international level. Namibia came into the Kosafa Championships on the backdrop of an impressive one all draw against African champions Nigeria in the World Cup qualifiers last month. The team competing at the regional tournament, which makes a return after four years, features 90% of the side which held Nigeria in Vindor. We, we have a strong team and um, it's just up to us to, to show uh, to, the, to the rest of uh, Africa that we, that we can deliver. Namibia's World Cup hopes are over, but the team is looking at Kosafa to raise its status in the South African region. We need to get our respect back. That's important for me uh, as a coach and as a Namibian. We, we need to get our respect back in the region. You know, we never used to struggle against certain teams that we are struggling in the past two, three years against. And uh, that, that is completely, you know, our aim. Group B, which features four teams, including guest team Kenya, will play their matches in Kitwe. Six teams, including host Zambia, have a bye to the quarterfinals. The winning team at this year's Kosafa Championships takes home approximately 50,000 US dollars. And Namibia will be hoping to be the team to take home the winning pass. But most importantly, they will be looking to restore their sense of pride when it comes to football in the region. Celestine Karone, CCTV, Lusaka, Zambia.